Okay, so when we were at school, we all probably had to watch some kind of internet safety video. And let's be fair, most of them were pretty terrible. But the other day, I came across this one that I was genuinely shown while I was at school. And oh my fucking god. Like, I remember watching this in my class and trying so hard not to crack up. Like, the video spreads a good message and is educational and all that, but it's just too good not to make a video on. So let's jump straight into this. Right, okay, so before I get into this video, I know what a load of you are thinking. Leafy already made a video on this. Fuck off, mate. Leafy already made a video on this. I'm telling the police. <sighs> Leafy already fucking done it! Yeah, okay, sh shut up. I'm not gonna be going over the same points as him or anything. As I said, this video, it it's just too good not to make a video on. So anyway, this video we're gonna be looking at today is called Consequences. Assembly for 11 to 16 year olds. Damn, fucking hell. L let's just get into this. Okay, so the video starts off with this bloke showing his mum out of his house. I it doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of the video. But anyway, after that, he goes inside his house and starts listing a few reasons as to why living alone so great. Best of all... I can play online games against anyone I want all day long without anyone nagging me. Oh yeah, mate, you're definitely relating to those 11 to 16 year olds here. You know, as a team myself, I can definitely relate to you. You know, I love me a bit of the Minecraft and also that Grand Theft Auto. What a fucking game that is. Get in there. What the fuck do you mean get in? You're not even shooting at anything. What could you possibly be cheering about? You see, I believe life should be all about having fun. That's why I love the internet so much. Isn't it amazing what you can get up to? Oh yeah, mate, you can get up to so much stuff on the internet. I mean, I'd say a solid 99% of the internet is just people telling each other to kill themselves. So yeah, you know, it's pretty amazing. So many great friends out there. I don't think you do, mate. I mean, you're in a pub drinking alone in the middle of the day. You don't exactly scream social butterfly to me. Anyway, after that, he starts talking about how he likes to play games and shit. I've got this one game where I play detective, but it's a kind of guessing game where I try to work out where my friends live, what they look like exactly, the school they go to. Well, you know, I just like a bit of the occasional Call of Duty. But you know, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, after that, he goes and hangs around outside of school. Bit fucking weird, pal, not gonna lie. And then he starts bragging about how he's been stalking this girl or something. Kids haven't got a clue what James Bond here is up to. Well, I mean, mate, I wouldn't really consider you James Bond. I'd say you're more like a rapey Zac Efron. You see Jade over there? It was easy finding out about her. Take a look at this. Isn't she lovely? Okay, who the fuck prints out pictures of people? Like, you don't go up to your mate and go, oh yeah, have you seen my new girlfriend? And then whip out a fucking A4 printed picture of them. Okay, okay, okay. Go back a second. Who the fuck titles their own album Sexy Me? Like, how fucking big-headed must you be? Like, I'm not being funny here or anything, but if you have an album of yourself titled Sexy Me, you're pretty much asking to be stalked by some nonce. All it took was a few clicks, and I've got an email, IM account, mobile number. Right, okay, who actually puts that much information in their bio? I mean, my Twitter bio is just Wagwan Pifting, what's your BBM pin? But this girl's put, like, a fucking address and phone number and shit. Like, while you're at it, why don't you just put your fucking bank information in there? Maybe throw in your mother's maiden name as well, just to, you know, bulk it up a little bit. Anyway, after that, he follows her for a bit, you know, totally normal adult behaviour, and then he decides to phone her up. Hi, is that Jade? Yeah, it's Justin here. Big fucking strokey nonce! And he tells her to drop a USB stick in a bush. This contains special photos of her, just for me. Okay, who the fuck transfers nudes via USB? Like, you, you know, there is such thing as the internet. Like, I've never gone up to a girl and gone, hey, send me nudes, babes. But don't send them over Snapchat or anything. Give them to me via floppy disk. All she needs to do to stop me bothering her ever again Let's click this button. Okay, lads, this is an official memeless public service announcement. If any of you call me gay in the comments again, I'm gonna press the report abuse button and you're gonna get fucking arrested. Do you understand? These should keep me entertained for a while. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Fucking Coldplay. Like, I remember when I was watching this in class, this was the hardest part not to crack up to. Like, it's just Coldplay playing while the camera slowly zooms in on both of their faces. Like, it's supposed to be a proper serious moment in the video, but like, it's just so funny for some reason. I don't know why. She deserves my personal thanks. Maybe I should pay her a visit. Oh yeah, Justin, mate, that's a quality idea. Go round her house where her parents are. Her dad definitely won't cave in your fucking skull. Oh, 
Oh yeah, fucking sick one, Justin. Anyway, after that, it's pretty much the end of the video. Like, after this, the girl just goes over safety stuff. You know, the girl who put her address in her bio is giving you advice on internet safety. So anyway, after I finished watching this video, I decided to look in the comments, you know, see what people were saying about this masterpiece. And uh, the comments are disabled. Can't imagine why. But I found a re-upload of this video. And there's only like three comments on it. And one of them is, I scared now. Oh yeah, I can see why you're scared. Fucking terrifying individual this. And someone else commented saying, this is horrible. Sick, sick man. Um, Sammy pal, you do realise this bloke's acting. Uh, at least I fucking hope he is. Like, he's not actually a nonce, don't worry. But anyway, the same people that made that video have made one for 8 to 10 year olds. And honestly, it's a bit better in my opinion. I mean, the video we just looked at, you couldn't show that to a class of 16 year olds and have them take it seriously. Like, in this video, they actually have a convincing nonce. You're beautiful. Nonce! And not some like fucking Zac Efron lookalike. So yeah, anyway guys, in conclusion, the video spreads a good message. You know, you should all definitely be safe online. If you're like 13, don't talk to fucking 30 year olds. That's a key rule. Also, I don't think anyone does this, but don't put your fucking personal information in your bio. Like, I'm 99% certain that no one's ever done that, but still. But yeah, anyway guys, that's the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that motherfucking like button.